Hi guys, hello and welcome. I'm Daniel Plant and this is Be More Bear. This channel is dedicated to exploring the UK's waterways, both coastal and inland. We're going to show you some secret spots and show you just how beautiful this fantastic country is from the water. We'll go through just what it takes to maintain your boat and give you the confidence to explore this amazing island yourself and have your own adventures. So subscribe and join me while I share my passion for the water and explore some of the most untouched areas of this United Kingdom. So as you can see behind me, we've got Abu Dhabi there and today has been an absolutely epic day. This is only going to be a short video. Um, of course I decided not to charge the battery on the main camera so you've got iPhone footage with questionable with questionable audio but it is what it is so if we come over here behind me now we've got both and what a day just take a look at some of this I've got rubber duck out and we have just landed on a sandbank which is truly epic. I don't know whether you can see this. Let's just... This is the sandbank we've landed on. And funnily enough, this is exactly the place where I launched the big boat for the first time. And it brings back a bit of memories because this is the sandbank on the first day out in the second or third minute I put the boat on. Anyway, Let's get back to having some fun. So guys, the reason I make any of these videos is I'm trying to encourage everyone else to get involved. What I'm trying to do is really show everyone how much fun that can be had and, and grow the boating industry. You know, it's very daunting thinking about buying a big boat. I'm just trying to pull the motor up. I think I'm probably dragging it, but there you go. And it's, it is very daunting buying a big boat. Where do I launch it? How much does it cost? How much fuel does it use? Maintenance costs, this, that, the other. But if you get one of these and they're, they're, not, they're not expensive. 
and they are so much fun. As you can see, you know, I've managed to get this thing up on the plane. I keep cutting my head off. But I managed to get it up on the plane and, you know, for one person, I've been out with my daughter in this today and it's been so much fun. And you can't do this with a bigger boat. You know, with a bigger boat, it's very hard. You know, you, all the accidents are so much more expensive. You know, this is designed to be pulled up on the beach. So, guys, you got to do it and just enjoy enjoy the adventures a couple of things the suzuki's running well i've got the tohatsu on at the moment i was talking in the last video about getting rid of it the way today is going that is not going to happen because i love this motor it is going to have a bath in the ultrasonic cleaner a because i've got a cleaner and b just because why not um and c because i think there's a slight hesitation going between sort of idle and oh, nearly fell over um going between idle and um normal throttle basically when the jets transition in the carb lob it in it'll be good fun so we'll get that done and um, the other thing i need to change the prop i'm pretty sure the prop has no bite to it or not enough bite to it and it's just spinning up when you, the engine starts revving a little bit more i think it's right on the cusp it needs a bit more bite so maybe a bigger pitch on that and we'll see how that goes but until then I'm going to go and have some fun and keep going. See you in a bit. Guess that wasn't locked. So this morning, it's Sunday morning now and I've got the sun hat on. It is pretty fierce out here. It's looking pretty good, but um, my head looks like a swan vesta from the day before. So that's gonna be covered up with a nice straw hat. Anyway, let's get to it. And we've got a lot of cleaning up to do. And guys, I'm not sure whether you can see this, but this is one mucky motor. There is salt water all over it. And so from yesterday's trip, we haven't done anything with it. I've literally thrown it in the back of the van. And now we need to flush it out and wash it down. So when you go out on the sea, it's a bit different from the river. The river is fresh water, so you don't have all the need for huge amounts of flushing and cleaning down the salt. And the boat, it's normally pretty clean after it afterwards. Maybe a bit of mud from the bank, something like that. My boat is covered in sand and salt and it's going to need the jet wash. The motor is going to need a proper soapy wash. So let's get to it. <laughs> 